Hey guys, Target here and welcome to another episode of Design and Manage, a series skylines and modded let's play series. Today we are going to finalize the peninsular area that you see on your screen and we are going to build a starter university layout. Let's start. Okay guys, so our city is developing very very nicely. We have a population of 17,000 people and almost 6 million in the bank. And we have reached the stage where we are finally needing a university. So if I go to the education tab, we can see that we have the majority of our population with a high school education and we have a lot of eligible students for the university. So I think this is the perfect time for us to start a university campus. I have been thinking about where to build this university and I reached a conclusion that I'm going to keep my initial plans and I'm going to build the campus right about here in this little area. I am going to try to reserve these coastal areas to uh, residential and also commercial because these areas have high land value and I'm going to try to keep and confine the university to this middle area. I don't know how this is going to turn out but there's only one way to find out. Now, one thing about universities, and university campus in particular, is that they take a long time to build up. You need a very high population to have a university reach level 5, so this is a long-term project. Today, we are simply going to build an initial layout. We are going to place enough buildings to house the current population and satisfy the current demand of eligible students. And as our city grows and develops, we are going to slowly expand the university. But enough talk, I think we can start building and for that we need to buy an additional tile. And for starters, I am going to buy this little tile over here. And I think we can finally start making our road layout. And for that, I'm going to expand our uh, main road that is later going to become an avenue. For the time being, I'm simply going to use a dirt road because they are cheap to maintain and traffic is not going to be an issue. I'm just going to make a curve that is aligned with the current grid. So I am going to build it right here. Let me pause the simulation for the time being. Now, before I even start laying the foundations for the university, uh, I also want to make my road layout that will be based upon the shape of the circular road. And I'm going to do this right now because once I have things built here, I cannot um, make perfect geometry. Right now, I have all this area free and I can use the guidelines to make uh, perfect circular roads that are perfectly parallel to this one. So if I go 260 over here, and I'm using a cost of 260 because that's the same cost that I've used over here in this little road, I can take my freeform road tool and perfectly make a curve that is perfectly parallel to the initial avenue. Now I'm gonna do the same over here, but uh, over here the cost is at about 220. So make a segment that is at a cost of 220 here, and I wanna make another one that goes at a cost of 220 there. And with this we can make a, another perfectly parallel road. I have built an additional block by using the same strategy, and now I have decided that this main node here is going to be the main intersection that will lead into the university. And yes, I know that these intersections are a bit too close to each other, but I think we can make an overpass in the future, uh, right about over here in this highway, that will lead people directly into the um, university campus by using an elevated highway or even uh, a tunnel. But that's material for the future. Right now, I think I want to extend this block all the way uh, here, for example. And now I want to make an oval roundabout by going um, one block here for each side. I am going to make an additional segment right about over here. And now I can curve everything. And for that I need to select the middle block and try to make segments that are equidistant and this will allow us to make perfect curves. Right about here, okay? And I will upgrade all of these roads in the future. But this uh, area right here, right along this road, is where I'm going to place the university main building. So this is going to be the grand entrance of the university. 
Now what I want to do is define the edges of the university. As I've said, I want to reserve the coastal areas for residential and also some commercial and offices. So what I can do is define the location of a main avenue that is going to split the main space reserved for the university and for these areas. And for that, I think I want to make some roads that are uh, somewhat parallel to uh, the coastline. So I think I want to make an avenue that will come at about here and another one right about here. And then we can terraform these areas in the future. It's no big deal with that. Now I think I want to complement this with some curvy roads just to follow the coastline. This process took a lot of trial and error. I ended up cutting a lot of the footage. So what I seen right now is a very simplified version of the actual gameplay as it took me quite a bit of tries to get a layout that I was comfortable with. I ended up extending a, a road directly from the roundabout or the oval roundabout so that I could have a perfectly perpendicular road to the overall grid at the end of the available map. And then I've used this road to guide myself and make the rest of the layout. Originally, this was going to be the area that was going to be occupied by the university but then I realized that I had left too little space for the zonable buildings. So what I've done was make an additional set of roads um, to the inside of the layout just to uh, minimize the area occupied by the university and give a lot more uh, zonable space. Then I've just done a bit of detailing, rounded some corners and connected everything in a way that um, would be pleasing to watch in order to guarantee a smooth transition between the circular roads and the university layout. I then realized that I didn't leave enough space between the avenue and the residential blocks, so what I've done was scoot the avenue a couple of blocks inwards, towards the center of the layout. This reduced the amount of space reserved for the university, but will give me more freedom to zone more buildings in the shoreline. Okay guys, so I've just finished the layout for the university area and I'm quite satisfied with the results, so let's just uh, zoom in so I can explain a little bit uh, what I've done. So as I've said, this area uh, right here in the middle is going to be the area dedicated for the campus and this area, the outside area, is going to be dedicated for residential and also other types of zoning. It is possible that this layout might end up being a little bit too small, but uh, if that's the case, I'll just delete a couple of these blocks and I extend it into the um, river, or at least a bit closer to the shoreline. But as a starter layout, I think it's going to be more than enough. Another thing that I want to do now is start upgrading some roads. Um, I definitely want to upgrade this one because this is going to be um, a segment of Avenue. So I want to bring it all the way over here. In the long term, I might even turn this, um, all of this circular road, this uh, long segment, into a highway. But for the time being, I think I want to keep it as an avenue. I want to bring it all the way to the central area. And here, the avenue is going to split into two. And this entire uh, road here is going to become an avenue. In a normal scenario, I would not upgrade the roads right now because we don't have anything zoned in and uh, upgrading this one avenue is only going to increase the maintenance cost but to help you visualize a bit better and since money and income is not an issue I'm gonna do it right now so I'm gonna upgrade these entire segments okay there we go and now here I want to do something special uh, I think this is going to be an avenue as well all the way until here and we'll think about this connection later on as we develop this area but here this little district or this little block i want to turn it into a roundabout except that it's not going to be a roundabout it's going to be a one-way road that is going to follow this direction so it kind of works like a roundabout but it's a uh, shapely very very different so let me just grab the one-way roads which are these ones and I'm gonna upgrade all of these roads. Now I'm going to add some shortcuts. So people who are here and want to come this way, oh and by the way this is the wrong orientation. Okay so now people that are on this road and want to go into this avenue they can do so over here. So perhaps we can make a slightly smooth curve, kind of like this. Okay. 
and I think we can do the exact same thing on this side. When we start developing this area, we will see how this roundabout in between quotation marks will behave and handle the traffic and we will adjust as necessary. I also want to turn this little area into a roundabout, so that's something that we can do right now. Okay, perfect. And now I also want to upgrade this little road as well, because it's going to be ED entrance for the university. And this can be a roundabout. I also do not want all of these connections uh, because it creates unnecessary interchanges or in this case intersections and we do not want that. So let me try to mimic the spacing that I have on this avenue and let's leave a two block gap in between. Uh, actually I think I want this to match this spacing so I'm not gonna add any spacing at all. Okay, and now I think I want to do the same on this side over here. Now that we have the main layout defined, or at least the basics, we can start and zone our university district. So we can paint the campus area. Perfectly defined and now we can name our university and we are going to call it the new Tadema University. Quite the original name, don't you think? And now finally I can select what kind of university we are going to make in this city. Now we have three different specializations to choose from. We have the trade school campus area, we have the Liberal Arts College and we have the regular university. I do not think I want to have more than one university in our city. I believe we are only going to have one campus. So we'll only be able to experiment with one of these. And after much thought about it, I decided to go for the trade school. So this is the specialization that will define New Tadema University. So let's pick up on the trade school administration building because it's the only one that we can pick right now and let's place it right in the middle of our little roundabout. And look at this, look how majestic it looks. Perfect. I even think I want to grab my roads with trees and convert all of this into that type of road. And we can also upgrade this segment as well. Beautiful. Okay, so by clicking the university name we can see the university panel and you can see what's necessary to upgrade the university to the next level. We will need academic works, which are special works that are developed by the students of the university. We need to have a total of 500 students and we need to have a campus attractiveness of 200. For the time being, because I have such a low population, I think I'm just gonna place the required buildings to satisfy these demands for the next level and we will upgrade as time goes by. Because we have such a big amount of money, I am going to uh, pay the additional 50,000 to have a 100% chance of having at least one academic work. But anyway, let's start placing some buildings and start developing our university. Because this area is quite big, I think I want to have some roads inside the campus itself, so I'm going to make them right now. I think I want to have a parallel road to this one, that comes um, all this way, perhaps a bit uh, further apart from the avenue, right here. So now, and let's connect it to the main roundabout. I think we can make a small curve right about over here, perfect. And now I think I want to use this area to place some um, dormitories to raise the capacity for students. And for the time being, I think I only want to place two of them. So I'm going to grab some pathways and I am going to um, draw a few pathways here. And let's put one dormitory right about here and another pathway right here. And certain buildings like dormitories can be placed along pathways. Okay, perfect. Actually, I think I want to take them a bit further apart from this avenue, so instead of having this road right here, I'm going to have the road 
right about here. So now we can delete this thing and relocate everything. Perfect, now let's finish up the pathway and connect it here. Perhaps we can even make a curvy road here and connect it. We can also extend this little pathway all the way until the avenue because this is going to be an open university. Everybody will be able to get in, just like any modern university. In the future we can even create a crosswalk over here by creating an intersection when we develop this area, but for now it's more than enough. This little space, coincidentally, it's the ideal space to place this building, the trade school groundskeeping, which is useful to increase the attractiveness of the campus. So we are going to place it right here. And look at that, perfect fit. I love it. I still don't know what is going to be the final shape of this layout, but I think I want to draw a road all the way over here. And now I think for the time being I'm going to put the trade school study hall right about alongside this road. Right here. And we will change the location of this eventually, but for the time being it can stay there. Now we can connect this road to give our citizens or our students a easy way to access it by creating a crosswalk here. And I even think we can round this little area as well. Okay, beautiful. And then we also have this thing, the book club, that generates a little student capacity. And now that I look at it, I think it's going to look great right about here in this curve, so I think I want to relocate this and put it here, right on the edge. I will place the book club right in the middle. Such a perfect fit, look at that. But I think that's enough buildings for now. I think we have a nice foundation of a campus, so what I'm going to do is provide power and water to this entire region, and then I'm going to pause the simulation and see how it behaves. Okay, so we now have already 680 students and we are missing 25 in campus attractiveness, so what I can do is place an additional dormitory to fix this. And I'm gonna place it right here. And this is enough to increase the attractiveness right to 200, which is exactly what we need. And look at this, we are already making a big profit with our university. This was indeed a very good decision. And look at this guys, it seems that we already have some movement of people that are wanting to come study into our university. Yeah, there you go. Right now all the students are arriving by car, because I still do not have a public transport system in the city, so that will be our priority for future videos. While we let the university develop and let the academic year uh, advance, I think we can focus on other areas of the city. For example, we should start to create some residential right about in these slots, because um, we have the demand for it. And as we also have some commerce, I think we can start zoning some high density stores in this location as well. I see that this intersection is getting quite a bit of activity, so I'm going to turn it into a roundabout, just to ease up the traffic flow. Okay, this should facilitate things a bit better. Okay, so I've let the simulation run for a little while and we had a death wave, so I took advantage of that opportunity to place our first uh, crematoriums. So I've placed a couple of them. And I've also placed a new building, which is the elder care. Initially, I've placed it in another location, 
uh, right about here at this road but eventually I relocated it to this side in order to get a much better coverage. So as you can see we have a lot more buildings inside the radius of coverage. As traffic starts to get a bit tight, as you can see we have a lot of cars in this road that want to get into this uh, new layout. Uh, I've added another option for people to get into this layout by adding a road that leads directly to the residential buildings, but we still have a bit of a traffic congestion, so this is something that I'll definitely have to worry about in the future and address. If I check the traffic panel or the traffic view, we can see that we have some areas that are starting to get on the red zone because we have placed a lot of high density buildings um, in the past couple of episodes particularly this little avenue so this is something that we have to worry about in future stages uh, it also seems that this roundabout is uh, reaching its limits it's not is not able to handle the current amount of traffic anymore and i see that we have some trucks here doing a u-turn and i don't know why that's not supposed to happen and i'm gonna add an additional road over here so now trucks instead of coming all the way over here they should now just turn around through the roundabout and come over here but anyway this interchange is going to need a lot of work in the future i'm also predicting a lot of traffic coming into this avenue because this segment here is going to be the main point of access to this entire um, part of the city to this entire peninsula so before i zone anything in here i will have to think about a solution uh, to help us distribute traffic a bit better throughout the different parts of this layout so that we can prevent to have a huge congestion that we'll have to fix uh, in the future when this entire area is already developed. What I'm gonna do now is let the simulation run for a little longer. As I've said on the past video, I want to finish up the zoning of this layout and we still have these blocks to fill in and because we have the demand for residential I think we can fill them up today. And I also want to do a bit of decoration. As we can see, there are a lot of blank spaces in between these buildings uh, and also this area over here. That I think we can address this video before moving on to other parts of the city and start working on the layout adjacent to the university. So I'm gonna do that and I'll meet you in a couple of minutes.
All right, guys, I've been doing a lot of work. Let me show you what I've done. So I've just been zoning our last block that we have available. According to the demand, we still have uh, two little blocks to fill in, but there's uh, no problem with that. I detail the entire area of the city with the exception of this little bay here. Uh, I think I'm only going to finish it when I buy this tile so that I can decorate this little edge as well. I have also been addressing the um, services of the city and right now I have placed some um, fire stations to respond to all the problems. So now we have three full sized uh, fire stations and two small ones. I didn't touch the police but I've built another clinic. I have been also taking care of the leisure situation, so now the entire city is blue uh, with the exception of this little area that still has some room for develop and also this area because I'm going to build some parks here in the future. But I think what took the most time was the entire decoration and uh, filling up the spaces with trees. So what you see now is the final result of the time lapse that you have seen. So I have placed a lot of trees, um, I missed in at least three types of trees and I have even in some places such as this one um, where there is a bigger gap between the houses I even placed some decorative pathways. Overall I think it looks uh, pretty cool, uh, it looks like we have a forest inside a low density residential district that is embracing the high density uh, buildings. Since we were on the topic of decoration, I went back to my nature reserve park, so the cave hole park, and I have added a few more decorations, so I added a few watchtowers, I even added this pathway that goes along this slope all the way over here and placed this watchtower and also this shelter. Uh, and I've done the same here, another couple of towers here, and finally one bouldering site all the way over here as well and I've also placed some additional tents to raise up the attractiveness level of the park so that we could level it up all the way to level 5 which is the level that it is right now and it's making uh, a profitable income so it was worth it. I particularly like the way uh, these pine trees, the big ones, stand out uh, when paired with the low density buildings. I think it looks really really great and uh, gives uh, quite a nice contrast to the city and to this entire area. If we move over to our low density residential district, I have done the exact same thing and I placed a bunch of trees in the middle of the residential blocks and also along the pathway. And we finally got rid of the ugly yellow tone that the ground floor had because this is a fertile land. And now I think this area looks uh, much better, much better indeed. And again, the pine trees give another touch to this entire area by standing up above the buildings. And if we zoom out, this, this area looks amazing. Here I've done a little park in this little area, I think it turned out uh, very very well, I like how it turned out. Perhaps in the future I want to put a ferry stop here, I think this is a good place for it, but I'm still considering. For the time being this park is more than enough and it's suitable for the location. Overall this entire area of the city is almost finalized, uh, the only thing that I have to address is the current traffic situation that we have right now. So we have a lot of traffic backing up and that's because we only have one uh, highway connection, so what I think I'm going to do in one of the future episodes is actually have another highway connection, perhaps over here, that comes um, through this area, then joins and merges with the uh, main area of the city, and also another one that comes and connects with this highway here as well. However, that's material for another video, because if we go back to our university, a lot of stuff has happened. So we have progressed through some academic years as you have been able to see in a time lapse and right now we have a total of 4 academic works and we have been upgraded to the second level which is the recognized level. This gave us um, some buildings to put on which I'm going to use right now so I'm going to pause the simulation. I think I want to relocate this thing all the way over here for the time being. I want to delete this road. And the first building that I want to place is the Trade School Outdoor Study. And I think I want to place it right in front of the dormitories. So for that I think I'll have to delete this road. And let's place it right about here. Let's see how it looks. I am going to put a pathway in between. 
and I am going to add yet another one of these. And I think I want to connect it uh, and facing the pathway. The same thing with this one. So there we go. And now I want my road to come and wrap around the park. So I think it's going to be it. Okay, and now we can connect everything with a curvy road. Actually, for the sake of variety, I want to try something else. So let's delete this park and let's put uh, the fountain instead because I want this thing to go right next to the main building. So I think I'm going to make a few pathways. Okay, I think it looks great. So now I just want to do a few modifications. And let's just uh, connect the pathway like this. Perhaps we can even make an additional pathway here. Okay, I have reworked this area and I think I like this pattern much better. So now what I want to do is relocate our uh, study, our study hall. So let's make a road that comes all the way over there and let's place it right here. Or like this, I think it looks even better. The roads with trees were annoying me quite a bit, so I have replaced them with these roads with grass lanes instead for a better visibility. But now what I think I want to do is decorate this uh, entrance area with some trees and perhaps this roundabout as well. And then we can wrap up the episode. Alright guys, I have ended up reworking the entrance of the university and I think it looks great now. I put in these two tall towers uh, in the corners, not to obstruct the view of the main building and then in the center I have put these uh, smaller trees and a fountain in the middle surrounded by bushes. I even think this tree is a little bit far off which is annoying me. Okay, there we go, much better. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for today, a gigantic amount of progress in this video. We have not only built a huge portion of the road layout for the next part of the city, we have built a starter university and we have also decorated the entire city as well. The next few episodes will probably be very challenging because it will involve managing traffic, but I think we'll be able to do it. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope to see you again in the next video. Have a good one and as always, have fun!